Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all good. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. In today's video, we are doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. I've got loads of products that I've been dying to just throw on my face, so let's get straight into it. All right, before we get into the makeup, you guys know I have to talk about Estrid on a regular basis. Number one, because I work with them a lot, but also number two, because it's the best freaking razor you will ever try. Whether you shave your arms, your legs, your underarms, down there, your belly, your toes, your butt, whatever it is you shave, I promise you Estrid is the best razor. Like, I look at my eyebrows. Just, just look at them. Look at like my eyelashes. I'm a hairy girl and I'm hairy from like here up, which is good, but I'm also hairy from like here down, which isn't always that good for me anyway. So honestly, I know what a good razor is. Like I have tried literally every single razor on the market in Estrid is by far the best and also the cutest. Like they come in so many colors. This is one of their new sky blue colors. And the reason why I'm talking about Estrid in this video is because number one, they're great. Number two, you can actually get them in boots now so it kind of ties in with the whole drugstore thing. So if you need to get like a new refill or something like that, you can actually just get them in boot stores, which is cool. And number three, of course, I have a discount for you guys. So basically, if you buy the Sky Blue Starter Kit, which comes with the handle, two razors, so you have like one to use there and then, and then a refill, and it also comes with a wall holder, which is so handy because you're not gonna like have your razor just like lingering around your bath or your shower and getting kind of grubby and gross. This keeps it nice and dry and also is very, very cute. So if you guys use my code and buy one of the Sky Blue Starter Kits, which like I said, comes with a whole load of things, it costs just $7.95, so it's actually really, really affordable and obviously way better for the environment, you will automatically get one of the travel cases for free. These are so handy, whether you just wanna like store them in your house, you wanna store them if you're going away for like a little trip or you wanna go on holiday or whatever it is, these are very, very handy. But yeah, I've seriously used Estrid razors for years. Obviously I've had my legs and my underarms lasered a little bit, but I do still get quite hairy arms, which I'm not into. And because I have tattoos, you can't really laser them or anything like that. So I always shave my arms with this, my belly, any like rogue hairs that I have elsewhere, a little bit down there on the toes, it just keeps me smooth and sometimes if I run out of my little face razors, I will just use it on my top lip, which is what I did today. So um, you're welcome. There is no mustache in sight right now. So yeah, I'll write everything in the description box down below and on screen as I always do. It'll be in the top line of my description. If you guys do want to try these out, obviously, like I said, you can get them in boots, but if you do want to take advantage of that offer, then check out the link down below. Pick up one of the sky blue razors because first of all, they're cute. Second of all, they're dope and you will get this bad boy for free. So check everything out down below. Okay. Time for makeup. Okay, so today I have not one, but two primers to try out. I have a normal, like, well, kind of normal, Essence Primer Liquid. It's from Wet n Wild. And then I also have an MUA Pro Base uh, under eye primer. I don't think in all of my years of throwing random things on my face, I've ever tried an under eye primer. So we're gonna give both of these a go. In fact, I'm actually gonna start off with this one. So yeah, it's by MUA, so super affordable. And I guess it just makes your under eyes look a bit smoother. We'll see. I'm just gonna take like the same sort of amount that I would take if I was using an eye cream. To be fair, I feel like this is just kind of like an eye cream anyway. And I'm just gonna pop that under my eyeballs. It does say, let me just flip it around while I do this, uh, refresh and revive, which is what I need right now. I have not been sleeping much over the past few days. I'm just gonna let that kind of like sit on my skin for a second. And now I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Primer. So it's called the Five in One Essence Primer Liquid. It says it smooths, conditions, refines pores, balances, and prolongs makeup, which I feel like is what a primer should kind of always do. I love it when brands say it's like five in one or like 27 in one, and it just kind of does the same thing that every other primer on the market does. But I don't know, maybe I'll eat my words. It's very, as you can imagine, it's it literally says primer liquid, but it is like a, just a full on liquid. It kind of just feels like a serum. Doesn't seem to have any smell or anything. And it actually does feel quite hydrating. Like normally when I put on serums, I don't feel like them, they're the most hydrating things in the world, but this one actually does feel like it's got a bit of juice to it. And I wonder if it'll make my face tacky or anything in a second. Kind of want to see what it's got in the ingredients. Okay, it's got a bit of glycerin in there. It's quite far down on the ingredients. Glycerin usually makes your makeup like stick to your face. So hopefully when this dries down a tiny bit, it will just make my makeup stick to my face. But um, that feels fine. I do like how quite lightweight it is. I've already had moisturizer on my skin for a couple of hours um, and it's working fine with that. So not bad. Oh my God. 
someone on Pokemon Go has invited me to a raid. If any of you guys still play Pokemon Go, yes, I am a 30 year old woman that plays Pokemon Go. Um, let me know your like code thing down below. I don't know what mine is, so I'll have to check, but let me know your code and I'll add you because I'm always down to have more friends and we can like send each other gifts and postcards. And yeah, if any of you are also still playing Pokemon Go, let me know, because I'm freaking obsessed with it. Okay, so for my base today, I had another product that I was gonna try out, but then this dropped on my doorstep and I just had to try it because I've been so excited about this. This is from HMB, it's a soft focus luminous glow tint. I'm using the shade GT7, hopefully it'll work for me. I do have a couple other colors to try out, but this one was already open, so I figured I would give this one a go. And I believe this is like 18 pounds, which I actually feel like is pretty good because HMB isn't like the craziest of crazy, like super affordable makeup brand but it is still pretty affordable and you do get a brush with it as well. So we're gonna try this and hopefully it's the right color for me. Okay, so it's got a nice little pump. It's actually quite a thick product. I was expecting it to be a little bit more thin considering it is like a skin tint. Okay, let's try it with this brush. It's got, it's got quite a heavy fragrance. It kind of smells like an old lady, which personally I love, but just a heads up if you're not into fragrance. Kind of smells like baby powder actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all over my face with this. I can already see it is softening my skin a little bit. Like obviously it's a tint, it's not gonna give you the most insane coverage, but I do feel like it is blurring everything out on this side of my face. Oh, it smells so good. It's like super, super shiny, as you can see. So when they say luminous, they mean luminous. And I actually don't normally like these kind of stippling brushes that much, but this one's actually quite nice. It's quite soft, so it does just blend everything out quite well. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this base here. Takes away a tiny little bit of like redness, like around my nose and everything. It's just giving me like healthy skin. I'm liking this. And by the way, I did, as you can probably tell, already do my brows, which have already started to grow out pretty quick. I'm not necessarily over the spot brows, but they do take some maintenance. So I am kind of getting my old brow shape back and people are always like, you've ruined your eyebrows. I'm like, babes, I am literally that person that I could like shave off my eyebrows and they'll be back to like full bloom in like three days flat. They, they just won't leave me alone. But yeah, I'm growing my brows out again a little bit like on the ends and I used my bare brows from Unicorn Cosmetics just to slick them down a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna move on to concealer. I actually hadn't seen this concealer anywhere, so I assume it's new. It's the Revlon Color Stay. The Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C 5 in 1 Concealer 24 Hour. I'm just gonna put it on my face and not read all the packaging. Uh, but it comes with like this little puff on the end, which I actually do quite like. I feel like they just sort of blend half your concealer out. And I'm gonna take a little bit here and go a little bit ham under my eyeballs because I need it today. But the rest of my skin is kind of doing all right. My under eyes right now are like, babes, get some sleep. And I'm just gonna pat it in with this little fluffy brush. And the shade I'm using, by the way, is 030. And that actually looks pretty good. Like, look at that. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I say that, I am going in with more, because I always do. I feel like I just always want a little bit more coverage right on my inner corner here. And then I'll show you guys in the macro how it kind of blends out. I'm actually really happy with that. I feel like that looks pretty damn good so far. Slightly dying inside. Dying inside, but you can't really tell. I am very curious about this under eye primer though because I do feel like my under eyes actually do look quite hydrated and pretty smooth. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of this Be Perfect Contour Bronzer Stick. It's called the Shape Stick and I got it in the shade Caramel. And it looks like this. Is this the one that Meredith Duxbury uses? I feel like it's called like LYS. I've never tried that brand before, but I feel like that's the brand she uses, but it also looks really similar to this. So who knows? If you guys know, let me know. Do I wanna say no one more time? No. But anyway, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this because Be Perfect, their stuff is normally pretty pigmented and I don't wanna look like a complete Oompa Loompa. So I'm gonna pop it in my usual places. Uh, do, oh, do a tiny bit under my nose. I do actually really like the applicator as well because I feel like it gives you nice angles. And get rid of that double chin a little bit. And then I'm just using the same brush that I used before with the skin tint. Okay, let's see what this can do. Yeah, pretty pigmented considering the amount that I used, but actually blends out really, really nicely. Sweet. Also, by the way, I get questions about it sometimes and I hate it 
like I understand the questions, but also like I hate it too. But sometimes when I do the macro, I'm just gonna fully expose myself here. When I do my macro and you guys see my ears, sometimes people are like, your ears look so infected, like they're like crusty. I'm like, no, I just have psoriasis. I just get psoriasis in my ears and I can try and get rid of it. I do try and get rid of it constantly. And I've gotten rid of it on my face and on my scalp, but my ears, nope. They're like, oh, you've got all these like cute little ear piercings in there. But you know what? We're also gonna give you some free crust. So if you see that, um, sometimes I get like, we don't get it too often because you guys are nice, but every so often you get a random person that comes along and they're like, you're disgusting. You need to wash and clean your ears. I'm like, I, I do. I, trust me, I do, but the skin just keeps coming back and it just, it's fun, you know? All my crusty friends out there, it's fun, right? We love having psoriasis and eczema and all those fun things. It keeps life interesting, you know? Okay, powder, and I'm gonna do something I've never done. I'm gonna try out the pink under eye. I don't like pink but the best of times, really. Like I like it on my lips. Don't really like too much of it on my cheeks, let alone my under eyes, but HMB also came out with their new pressed powders. I have a bunch of them, so if I'm not really into the pink, then I might just use like a light or a translucent or something. But they also have their little puffs as well. So I'm gonna give the pink shade a go. And we're gonna see what it looks like. I have no idea how pigmented they are. Maybe I'll just try this on like the inner corner of my eyes first. I don't know. Never tried one of these puffs either. And I'm gonna tap off the excess and let's see. It literally looks like a blush color for me. Maybe you could actually, if you're fair, Maybe you could use that as a blush. I don't know, but okay. I'm weirdly scared and there's an eyelash in the corner of my eye, which I don't like. This concealer is actually creasing quite a bit, but hopefully once I've set it down, it'll be all good. Pop it right under there. You guys know I don't do baking. I know some people rock the pink under eye. I don't know if I'm one of those people. It doesn't look that intense though. Puff feels nice. I'm gonna go just a little bit further down because I will be adding like the translucent or like a light powder on my actual cheeks and everything in a second. That's actually not bad, you know? Like I definitely still do prefer either like a translucent or a lighter powder, but I actually don't hate that as much as I thought I would. I need to actually have a look at the formula in a second. But yeah, I'm talking about the color right now. I'm not totally against it. What do you think? Do you guys do pink under eyes or anything? I know some people literally go like all out under their under eyes. Fair play to you. Some of you, when I see it on like TikTok and Instagram and everywhere, I'm like, I could never. Like I could literally never. But a nice little subtle pink under eye, it, it, I'm not hating it. This is growth. Okay, but I do want to try out. I think I might go in with the, I'm gonna start off with the light powder because I'm gonna put that all over my cheeks. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with this color, I think, to begin with. And I'm actually gonna like pop some of that on my jaw to see how it looks first. That well, looks pretty good. I am actually quite a big fan of Holly's Loose Powder. This is, this is good so far. It doesn't feel like a, how do I explain this? Like sometimes you get pressed powders and they're very much just a powder that you use to kind of like top up your makeup. They're not necessarily gonna set everything down in place. They'll just get rid of like a little bit of shininess here and there. But this does just kind of feel like a loose powder in pressed powder form. Science. Yeah, it does actually look really good. Can you see my forehead there? It's still giving like a nice little soft glow thanks to probably the skin tint underneath. That's quite nice. Still got some glow. Thank you, skin tint. Big fan of that skin tint, Holly, that is dope. And yeah, I'm actually quite liking this to be fair. Okay, next I have this face palette here from MUA. It's called the Golden Hour Face Palette and it basically just comes with some bronzers, some blushes and a highlighter. I do also have this palette here from Barry M. I actually don't know if they still do this. Like this is fairly new, but I couldn't really find it anywhere, but it's like, a nice little neutral eye palette with a few little pops of color and then you've got some highlighter shades there. So I think I'm just gonna kind of do a mix of the two palettes to be honest. I'm gonna take the shade Solar 100, which is a nice bronzer and just warm my cheeks up a tiny bit. So I feel like that would maybe be a bit more suited for me as like a contour powder. It does kind of work for like bronzing and contour, but I usually like to go for something that's a little bit more warm tone for bronzer, but that's still, is looking all right, don't worry. I'm gonna blend it all out properly in a second. I'm just kind of laying down the color for a minute. And it's pigmented enough. It's not like super in your face, which I do personally prefer. I'd rather build something up than just like have to then work with way too much product on my face. 
damn, that cheek is looking flawless. Sorry, hello for the ego right now. But that cheek, <laughs> that's a good cheek. Quite happy with that. I'm then gonna take, just using the same brush, a tiny little bit of this Misty Rose blusher, which actually does look quite pigmented. Just bring a bit of color to my cheeks to warm them up a bit. It's quite nice. Okay, I can go in a little bit more heavy handed there. I guess when you actually wear quite a lot of blusher, which could never be me, then doing the pink under eye does kind of like tie everything together. Okay, so now I have this super, super intense looking highlighter. It literally looks white. I might just save this for like my brow bone and my nose and stuff. Let me just swatch it here for you. Okay, it actually looks more wearable than it does in the pan. But I do also have, I'm not using any of these pink tones right now. I'm gonna go in with this like more champagne-y sort of color from the, this is called the Diamond Luxe Iron Highlight Palette from Barry M. Uh, we can compare the two. So I actually feel like those two combined would look kind of good. I'm just gonna take a little fluffy brush, like an eyeshadow brush, pick some of that up. Dust some of it off. Pick a little bit of the other one up. Dust some of it off. And yeah, let's try this. Oh, that's a good combination. Probably not ideal to have like two separate palettes to get this effect, but that is actually a really, really nice combo. Keep losing my mirror. And then just lightly brush over that just to kind of diffuse it. I'm actually very curious now about the um, MUA highlighter. I wanna see what that looks like on its own. Ooh, intense, but nice. I'm gonna take this larger fluffy brush just to blend it all out a little bit. I'm actually liking that super icy highlighter more than I thought I would. Like I thought I was gonna be gravitating more towards this one, but I actually kind of think I prefer the other one. Highlight the brow bone. I bet that is gonna slap. Oh yeah. And then some right on the inner corner. Oh, bitch, that's dope. I love that highlighter. I'm loving this so far. I added a little bit of setting spray and I also just went through my brows again quickly because they were looking a little bit wild. So now I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette here from Barry M. Like I said, this is the Diamond Lux one and I'm just gonna do something really neutral because I have this. I have a neon orange liquid liner, so I'm gonna do something fun with it. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna like stick around these shades today and yeah, just do something kind of a little bit smoky. So I just primed my lid with a tiny bit of P. Louise and I'm just gonna go in with this like neutral brown shade here. And like, I feel like I could do a smoky eye in my sleep now, like a really nice, like natural, natural, hello. Hello, the contacts. Everything going on here, there's nothing natural about me anymore, but I feel like I could do like a soft brown smoky eye in my sleep. So I'm just gonna whiz through this. You guys have probably seen me do Eight million of these. Brown in the crease, bit of brown on the outer corner. Might actually do a halo eye, and if I do decide to do that, it'll be brown on the inner corner, and then a bit of shimmer over the lid somewhere. But yeah, I'm just gonna whiz through that. Dark brown on the outer corner. Obviously you could use the highlighters on your eyes as well if you wanted to. I feel like this brown eyeshadow, like the deep one, could be a little bit more pigmented. I feel like it maybe looks a tiny bit patchy as well, but we're working with it, it's fine. But yeah, I'm not sure I'm like the biggest fan of this palette. I just don't really feel like it's anything I'd necessarily like reach for. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer. I'm just gonna go in with this one here. Just see what the shimmers are like. Okay, the shimmers look pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of the mattes. Well, just that, that dark brown to be honest, but the shimmers seem pretty decent. So now I'm gonna do a little something with this liner. I hope it's good. It's from Collection. It's their one of their Vitamin Hit Neon Liquid Liners and it's just in <laughs> hiccups, just one. Okay, let's see if it's pigmented because I feel like sometimes these can be a little bit sheer. This one does look a bit sheer, but we might, can you even see that there? Can you actually see that at all? Let's do like a big boy. Like, yeah, it is quite sheer, but I'm gonna see if I can filter it up and I just wanna do fun shape, just wanna have a little bit of fun. So I might even do like a little triangle ting. Let's try that. Oh yeah, this is, the, what? You can barely see anything on there. Damn it. Eh, it's just kind of sheer. I wanted it to be a, like, bam, but it's just like, eh. I'll go over it a couple of times once it's dried. We're gonna wait for a minute. I'm gonna do my lashes. 
and lips and whatever. And I'm gonna go over this a few times and we'll see what it looks like. So now I'm gonna go in with the Max Factor 2000 calorie mascara. I believe I've tried this, but it has been years. And I actually got this in black brown because I've been quite liking a brown mascara recently. And as always, I haven't curled my lashes or anything like that. I find that when I curl my lashes, they just like go up. And if anything, they actually look kind of shorter. Like they curl almost too much. That sounds like a first world problem, right? Like my lashes curl far too much, but I much prefer it when my lashes do kind of like wing out a bit more as opposed to like going fully upwards. This looks quite nice though. It's giving me like a nice sort of natural, but still quite a thickening look. I actually really quite like that. And it doesn't look brown but it just doesn't look as harsh as like a black mascara does. So yeah, I like the, the black brown color. Oh man, this is annoying. I just keep looking at that like neon liner. Cause I really like the way that everything else is looking so far, but that liner is just like, just kind of matches my skin tone really. Okay, we're gonna move on to lips for a minute and then I'm gonna try and add more to that liner. So I have, a lip liner from 3A or Mina, I think you call it Mina, and it's the 503 Automatic Lip Pencil. And it's like a nice kind of like mauvey pink sort of shade, AKA the sort of shade that I love. Seems really, really creamy as well. Nice color. Ooh, that's a really nice color. I think this is one of their best sellers as well. Right, a little bit of cleanup needed, but otherwise, liking that color. Okay, so before I tidy everything up, because right now, this lip line is like going down. This one's kind of going up. I'm gonna go in with this bourgeois lipstick. It's one of the Rouge Velvet in the shade 15. And it just looks like a slightly more almost like corally shade of pinky nude, quite pigmented. And they've actually got like a bit of a curve to the lipsticks as well. So it'll like hug your lip line a bit better. Oh, smells good. I need to tidy up my lip line. So what I'm going to do, because I need to sort a lot of things out right now. I'm going to tidy up my lip line, pop on some lashes. These are the ones that I have here. They're the Ardell Wispy 703. If I just show you guys there, that's what they look like. Very, very nice. Pop those on and then I'm also gonna try and do something with this orange liner and do my hair and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Dude, okay, obsessed with how this makeup turned out. Apart from this freaking liner. Oh my God, do you know, I did six coats of this liner, wait for it to dry down, went over it again. And this is the most pigmented I could get it. So not a fan of that, ruin my day that. Uh, I love the base makeup. I'm freaking obsessed with this like luminous skin tint from HMB. This is so freaking nice, definitely a favorite of mine. And I actually really like how the eyes turned out. I love the lashes, like these lashes, I forget what they were called and I've like ripped open the packet now, but the Ardell, 703 or whatever they were called, dope. They're actually pretty long on the outer corner, but I really, really love them and they're really easy to put on. Love the lip. I am just freaking obsessed with how my skin looks, to be honest. Like, I feel like it looks, obviously it looks a bit more shiny with my lights and everything, but in person, it just looks healthy and like dewy and luminous. And I'm I'm obsessed, but yeah, this, this stuff ruined my freaking day. But um, otherwise, I'm actually really, really happy with just about everything that I tried out today. I would say my favorites have to be, I really like the color of this lip liner. I really, really love the skin tint, obviously. And I actually think another one of my favorites is the mascara. As always, guys, I'll leave links to everything in the description box down below. And you can also shop a lot of the products in my YouTube shop function, which will be somewhere on screen. And of course, if you guys do wanna try out Estrid, like I said, you can pick them up from Boots, but if you do wanna take advantage of this offer, where when you buy one of their starter kits in the sky blue shade, you will get a free travel case, then make sure you do that. Again, link will be down below. All the details will be down below. Blah, 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 blah. Woo. It's been a long day. It's been a long day and it's not even three o'clock yet. Basically, if you guys wanna try Estrid and get yourself a free travel case, check out everything in the description box down below. Everything will be down there as always. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.